As promised, here's a problem like example four. This is also similar to problems 43 through 46 in the homework. Um, the problem says that we need to write the sine of arctangent of 1 plus arc cosine of x as an algebraic expression. Now, first thing I notice is because I have the sine of two things that I'm adding together uh, in this section, obviously we're going to do this formula then. The sine of u plus v is what we're going to use. So I need to determine then what u and v are. Now, u is going to be related to the arc tangent of 1. v is going to be related to the arc cosine of x. And what I know is this. If I draw a triangle and u is the angle, remember u stands for the angle here, I know that the tangent of that angle is 1. That means that I have 1 and 1 here. That also means that I have the square root of 2, then I know as my hypotenuse. Other things that I should recognize by this point in the class, you should understand that u is a 45 degree angle then. The other thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to call arc cosine of x. I'm going to associate that with v, and I know v has a cosine of x. That means that adjacent, if the cosine is x over 1, that means that the adjacent side must be x, and the hypotenuse must be 1. Now, I can use Pythagorean theorem here. Uh, let's make up a side. Let's call this just uh, like a or something for now, okay? And we need to figure out what a is. I know that x squared plus a squared is equal to 1 squared. That means that a squared must be equal to 1 minus x squared. So a must be the square root of 1 minus x squared. Now normally we've been talking a lot about using pluses and minuses whenever we do the square root of both sides, but we know that net, like a negative length doesn't make any sense, right? So now we can go through and we can replace this with the square root of 1 minus x squared. Now we can go on with our problem. The last step is I need to take all my values here and plug them in to this equation. So I'm going to do sine u cosine v first. Okay, so the sine of u happens to be 1 over the square root of 2. The cosine of v, which is over here, happens to be x over 1. Because I'm adding from this, I am, my original problem, I'm adding, which means this is going to be a plus sign here. And I need to do cosine u. Cosine of u is 1 over the square root of 2 times the sine of v. And the sine of v happens to be 1 minus x squared, square root of that, all over 1. So, last step then, as I need to do a little simplification here, this left one ends up being x over the square root of 2, and I'm going to add, sorry I forgot to put the plus sign here, I'm going to add 1 minus x squared, the square root of that, all over the square root of 2, which means I can now combine them into one fraction, that is x plus the square root of 1 minus x squared, all over the square root of 2, and then we have one last step. We don't like having the square root of 2 on the bottom of a fraction, so instead we're going to write it as the square root of 2 times what was originally there. Square root of 2 times that over 2, right? 1 over the square root of 2 is the same thing as the square root of 2 over 2. And this is the final answer.